Hi guys, it is September 18, 2019. Well, here is your now tropical depression. I read in an article that Louisiana was going to be spared, but it does seem like Louisiana, well, how is it going there in Louisiana? I'd also like to know how it is going in southeast Texas. This was supposed to be going straight on up to Dallas. Can't quite see it happening. But hey, with the use of electromagnetic frequencies, man can make an awful lot happen if man wants to. So this is current time radar. What was happening earlier today was this. Mississippi, Alabama. So, that's a lot of excitation of our atmosphere. High frequency, very dangerous, dangerous high frequency pulse. You like that squared off cloud that Mother Nature is making? All right, um, let's just go back to our pulsating high frequencies. I've been getting emails and comments, people asking, what is that? I've posted on this before. So I'm going to play a little bit of Dutch Sense's video that he posted February 2017, Next Red Weather Radar and Harp Weather Modification Explained. I'm going to play uh, about 10 minutes because it's very important for people to get that our weather is being controlled and what they are doing to the atmosphere well have you seen articles atmospheric collapse that may very well happen but what happens in our atmosphere affects everything it affects all of us it affects life. If you're not looking at these radar stations and realizing how many dangerous, dangerous frequencies are being emitted now, the extremely low frequencies, Gwen Towers, the microwave cell towers, the high frequency uh, coming out of Doppler radar, and these powerful blasts coming out of Doppler radar. If you're not getting that this affects all life, then you don't have a consciousness that allows you to realize that there is a ripple effect and it everything is connected. Everything is connected. So, I'll also be getting into some uh, of what they are doing with the plasma in our atmosphere. And I don't, I, I can't, you know, look, to understand this, it means understanding a whole new language, uh, years of study in the field of physics and uh but I'm just going to be reading a couple of uh, passages that, well, I thought, hmm, am I seeing that on radar? But first, let's get into plasma, high frequency blasts coming from our next rad stations, and weather modification creating very dangerous weather events. People are dying, and this continues over and over and over again. I haven't heard uh, much rain falling from tropical depression, uh, tropical storm Imelda, but they're still threatening Texas in particular with 18 inches. I can't believe the threats are still there 
when, well, if they want to make it happen, they will make it happen. But it doesn't look like you're going to be getting 18 inches or a foot of rain and massive flooding that they have threatened you with. All right, listen up. Very interesting. Show you a diagram here. On the left hand side is actual radi radiation, not nuclear radiation, but radio power radiation, plasma energy being generated, and they have pictures of it. These are actual pictures of it up into the ionosphere. It looks like a small breakout of northern lights. Then they have a diagram from the Navy showing the intensity. Again, 3D simulations of the constant heating of the same spot, and they have it color coded by intensity. Now, over on the right hand side, we have a radar pulse, harp ring slang term, radar pulse from the Minot, North Dakota NEXRAD radar. This harp ring, after it struck, this is in 2002 on um, 8 15 of 2002, by 8 17, there's a large storm finally breaking out there after a period of drought of many months. Here's another uh, diagram. It comes from HARP itself showing what these rings look like on the inside. Okay, so it, not just at HARP up in Alaska. Here's another example from the same radar station. Take a look at this, guys. So the same area coming out of the East Coast, a giant radar pulse. You can see it from uh, up at a continental level. You can see this the power associated with this. A blast of high frequency, exciting the storm. After that, we get storm formation. Here's another example of it. This one coming out of Nebraska from the Nebraska radar station. Each one of these followed by heavy storm activity going into tornadoes. Now I'm going to read you something from a company hired down in Texas to do this by the Texas government. Listen, the company called Acquiesce, A-Q-U-I-E-S-S -S dot com. I don't know if it's still active, but here's what I've got from their site. It's been on my site for a few years now. Over the past 10 years, the company Acquiesce has repeatedly demonstrated this technology to government and humanitarian observer groups. The proprietary weather modification system operates by utilizing resonance signals to divert oceanic atmospheric rivers into areas experiencing severe drought. The Acquiesce system does not rely on chemical or biologically hazardous material, <coughs> spraying, which could potentially harm the environment. Hired by the, the state of Texas, to make, and, it, and they got it to rain, guys. Not just there, it's happened all over the planet. So, what, where am I going with this? Well, I'm here to tell you, 2,000 of our fellow citizens have been unintentionally killed by storms that have formed as a result of these pulses from our next rad radar stations. And I've got so many examples here. Like I said, I've got hundreds of examples. We can just keep going up the list. Here we are in 2013. Des Moines, Iowa, radar pulse, harp ring confirmation, National Weather Service hails formed. Okay, I've got a before and after, so it's easy to see. Before, pulse out of Des Moines. After, look in Des Moines. The only National Weather Service issued warning. The little yellow box there, severe thunderstorm warning. They didn't issue any other warnings. There was hail damaging winds detected right there. Again, May 25th, the day before, the pulse happened. May 26th, I even got a zoom in on the warning down here. It's only one right there next to the radar station. It's happened over and over and over again like this. Thousands of people of our fellow citizens have been killed by negligence from the National Weather Service. Now, here is a video. I don't know if this, I'm going to play you this video. This was put out back in 2011 when Joplin got hit. You have to understand, Joplin, two days before Joplin got hit, there were a series of these pulses Let's that came right. from the nearby radar station. Let's get so check this out, guys. I'm going to show you this. We're going to watch this video. This was not made by me. But this has been out since 2011. It's using my warnings. Every area I warned for a tornado from these pulses got hit. Hundreds of people killed in this. Listen. 
Let's get right now to the death and destruction that we're seeing uh, in Alabama, Mississippi, and other parts of the South. Now seeing some reports in Virginia. We start with breaking news. The death toll jumping again in the past hour in total. 173 people in America now dead from these storms in what could be the worst tornado outbreak in U.S. history. Two days before, here I am. So for instance, this circle here would go all the way over to where this cloud is here, back around and come back around, which would put the center of this massive circle, not in Birmingham like you think it would be, but let's just say down near Childersburg or Silacalga, if I'm pronouncing that correct. All right, that's for the supermassive ring here. Then they got hit. Second uh, tree there that's swaying on the left side of the picture. There was no yeah, warning uh, for it Hopefully either. we can have uh, the cameraman pan killed, out guys. just a little bit so we can get a full <laughs> view a of this tornado. Uh, uh, there it is right there. Uh, and there, folks, there's is the, the tornado. tornado. Yeah. That, that is the tornado. the tornado. Biggest tornado ever formed. Uh, and Jeff, uh, just an awful sight there. The power just went off on the north side of Birmingham there. Okay. I don't know if you saw it, I'm not but joking. everything just went black on the north side of town. <laughs> All right, we lost Jeff again. But that is a, go ahead, Jeff. It's an amazing, amazing... I was going to say, the power has just gone out the whole north side. Wow. This is just the first right, area I named in the video that got right hit, guys. Uh, Every area I Again, folks, I want to remind you, a tornado emergency is now in effect in Birmingham, Alabama. And, uh, the reason I named them is because the radar transmitters are filled with the Delphi, Mississippi, for instance. You ever heard of it? Delphi, Mississippi? I had never heard of it until the pulse came out of it. They show it here next. They all got hit in the same day. Basically, anywhere where you see a ring, you have a threat. So this includes... Well, South Central Kansas. So we have tornado forming right where we issued the warning. Okay. Rose Hill, Kansas, right by the radar. Rose Hill. And I named the towns already, so go back in and listen to it for the town names. And uh, right down through Dallas. Yeah, we're Dallas got hit. They went for the radar. Every single one of these formed and went to the radar. And we issued the warning for each location two days out down to the point. Dallas, you're going to get hit by a tornado within two days. 48 hours is what I said. And I said 100% chance. On each location, they said it was impossible that each location would be hit. And then each location got hit, including Rose Hill, Kansas. Wait, we just keep on going, guys. This is all on the same day. Through Louisiana and up through Mississippi, 
we're looking at a center of, well, it would make it Philadelphia, in between Carthage and Philadelphia. Boom. Philadelphia hit. Oh my God, look at and I didn't even know the name of the little town. The only reason it was is because of the transmitter that was there. And guess how many people died in these storms, guys? Hundreds of people killed. This means the National Weather Service is directly or indirectly responsible, either manslaughter or if they're knowledgeable, then the people are responsible for the death of hundreds of people. Babies. Babies die, guys. Man, I'm telling you, man, this is bad news. I'm exposing them now, and I said I was going to do it if they kept messing with me, and here we are. National Weather Service, you got some splaining to do. And I'm saving this as a video on YouTube, and I hope you guys are sharing it right now and getting the word out. National Weather Service and the U.S. Army, who maintains the radars, the next round radars, are responsible for the formation and accentuation of rotation, including, including tornadoes, hail, damaging winds, and the deaths of thousands of people from 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016 and now we're going in 2017 they've even gone, gone so far as to hide the radar images and center it to remove the pulses so we can't see them from the from the systems and come up with creative solutions look even new york state watertown that's going to get hit within 24 to 48 hours with severe weather up to and including tornadoes and that's based upon this spiral harp ring here every time look boom heavy hail and that was two days later after that current storm blew through. Down to the point. It's coming down. The size of golf balls. Look how big that has. Aims at the sky. I like it. As hacks of the earth go, that one sounds just crazy Look enough to standing in front of giant After radar. the break, I'll meet the man who believes the solution to our energy needs lies not in solar, nuclear, or wind turbines, but in highly controlled, man-made tornadoes. My quest to hack a tornado for power has led me to one of the most energy-conscious countries in the world, Switzerland. I'm going to track down the engineer Slobodan Tepic. He has an idea for creating an artificial tornado that could be used to tap into a virtually bottomless supply of energy. My hope is that we can provide clean energy for about a half million people. Wow! His idea would work like this. A high-powered microwave beam anchored in the base of this shell-like wind guide would create the warm updraft needed to trigger a vortex. The walls in the wind guide funnel the fast-moving winds through 64 high-performance turbines that harness the energy and distribute it into the grid like a typical power plant. To demonstrate how microwaves could be used to create a tornado-generating updraft, Slobodan turned to his laser-equipped water tank. The beam comes through the center and actually monitor the vortex being generated. On this small scale, the heat transfer can't be seen with the naked eye. But if the upper plate, which represents the upper atmosphere, shows an increase in temperature, then there's hope for a microwave-induced tornado on a larger scale. And in just a few minutes, we can already start to see results. So this 0.3 reading that I'm seeing here at the top plate reflects the upper plate is being worn by the laser beam. Successfully heating the upper plate with the laser beam offers hope that someday we might be able to induce a tornado-like column of wind and harness its energy. But if it could be done, how big would a... All right, I mean... All right, guys, I once again forgot to... Oh, yeah... Um, put back the microphone in between the two segments of Dutch since his video, which I hope that you watch in full and circulate. Oh, 2017. So here he was uh, predicting uh, severe weather events. 2011, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 
we're at 19, we saw them during 2018, we see them now, 2019, and this, this is just not going to stop. But, you know, they're also really doing an awful lot of damage to our atmosphere. All right, I just want to uh, read some of what was uh, brought to me, sent to me by subscribers, whom I would really like to thank. Uh, again, I, I have been saying that I'm seeing signatures on radar that I've never seen before, and in trying to understand it, it's very difficult. You really do need to uh, study it for a long time. And, and you do need to have, uh, understand the language. Going through all of the experiments, studies, articles, you come across language that you need to look up, you need to then understand it, and it's difficult. And unfortunately, my motivation has lessened. I think we know enough to know that we are at war and that science has, has turned evil and they do their field experiments not caring about what they are doing to life, the life of the earth and life on earth. Uh, You know, we never saw radar pulsing away so early. And it's 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on the 18th of September. Um, what we are seeing right now, every time I go on radar now, I see what is very unusual these extreme pulses right here in Nevada. That is huge pulse, dangerous pulse of high frequencies. You see the green and then it goes away and comes back. Okay, that's the pulse. You see all of these extremely low frequencies uh, blasting away in so many states. What might this line be? I'm not sure because we also have nanotechnology in the atmosphere. We're seeing blips of these storms that just erupt, you know, out of nowhere. Little blips of precipitation. Very often the blip appears as severe a severe weather event, uh, uh, loads of precipitation. You see the sawtooth in here, in this uh, plasma. The reason why I'm bringing all of this up is because I think from some of the documents that I've been reading, what we are seeing are experiments going on. You see the sawtooth? the jagged edges of the plasma that we are seeing right here. Okay, keep that in mind. Um, keep in mind also what appear to be beam blips. Now the extremely low frequencies that we used to see were solid. Now we're seeing what appears to be a, a, a fragmented beam. That's different as well. Um, look at these severe storms generated in Georgia coming into Florida. Hang on, guys. Sorry for the interruption. It is always something going on. So, I... I think what we are seeing, this could be 
possibly vertical uh, plasma disruption. And I know that years ago, the military came out and it was proven that they could create artificial plasma but couldn't maintain it. And I think that they are trying to maintain it. I think that they are doing experiments to uh, have that plasma sustained and be self-sustaining in reading these articles uh, here. Improving the magnetic bottle that controls fusion power on Earth. Fusion, the power that drives the sun and stars, is the fusing of light elements in the form of plasma, the hot charged state of matter composed of free electrons and atomic nuclei that generates massive amounts of energy. Scientists around the world are seeking to replicate fusion on Earth for a virtually inexhaustible supply of power to generate electricity. And here, uh, among the issues was a breaking and locking effect that kept the edge of the plasma from rotating and increased localized heating on plasma facing components inside the tachomic. I don't, I, what is that? But in trying to figure out what that is, uh, a tokamic. I don't even know if that's the correct pronunciation. To tokamak is a device which uses a powerful magnetic field to combine to confine a hot plasma in the shape of a torus. Well, a torus shape is uh, it looks like what also has been referred to as donut donut shape uh, occur here. Sawtooth swings up and down ripples found in everything from stock prices on Wall Street to ocean waves occur periodically in the temperature and density of the plasma that fuels fusion reactions in donut shaped facilities called Tacomax. Let's see, this was early this morning, 3.44 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. By the way, the peninsula now, Wisconsin, uh, Michigan, you're getting blasted with frequencies. So, okay. What are we seeing here in Texas? This is a new signature that I've been noticing on radar. These very thick circular patterns. Well, they appear every now and then as full torus shaped plasma. Let's uh, look at, how about 2, 2 a.m. And are you seeing this bizarre, it's, it gets pushed into this, what appears to be a weather event it gets pushed in an easterly direction. They are really doing a number. So much is going on now. Yeah, that's Mother Nature. Straight lined, severe storms. Look at all of these extremely low frequencies, but yeah, you were blasted. Uh, Iowa. Well, we're blasted all over, but look at, I do think that these are 
the donut shaped plasma rings. And in one of the studies I was reading, they were referring to beam blips. And the, the, what I've always thought were extremely low frequencies, but those frequencies were shown up as solid lines. Now, there are a lot of breaks that we are seeing within the beam. But let me just show you what was going on up here. Oh man, hang on. God, these frequencies are so incredibly dangerous for all life. And we are now inundated with them. But now we have Illinois and blasted away, blasted away, Wisconsin and Michigan. All right. This was on the 16th at 1 a.m. And that is your donut-shaped, donut-shaped plasma. Extremely low frequencies coming out of Nebraska, South Dakota. And Texas as well. You got your torus shaped plasma. So I can't speak intelligently about any of this. All the, the reason why I'm showing you this is because I read those abstracts and articles and well I find it odd that now I'm seeing these huge, thick, round, donut-shaped plasma signatures. And I do think that they're trying to maintain, maintain it. The beam blips, I don't know uh, if that is what I'm seeing, but I am seeing. Uh, this was at 5 a.m on the 17th. Yeah, these frequencies, boy, are truly blasting away. But I'm seeing different kinds of frequencies. I'm seeing sawtooth frequencies. I'm seeing um, microwaves within the plasma. And this was out of Oklahoma. Let me get to it. More of these donut-shaped plasma, but the beams now are, they appear as just little blocks of, you know, um, squares. I don't know if that's a beam blip, but, you know, look at this. We've got something going on. It's more than just weather modification, more than just using extremely low frequencies for mind control. We have, I think, we're looking at, well, like the Department of Energy and an awful lot involved in trying to maintain that plasma. For the free energy, no, it's it's not going to be free for us. But plasma is the super hot, electrically charged state of matter. It is made of free electrons and an atomic nuclei. Uh, if researchers are able to replicate and sustain these fusion reactions, they can ensure the human race has access to effectively unlimited amounts of energy. That is why finding a way to prevent sawtooth swings inside tokamaks reactors would be a big step 
forward for fusion technology. The sawtooth instability is caused by a very strong current. By ensuring the current does not get too strong, the pumping effect stops the instability from taking place. Is this why we're seeing, you know, the, the sawtooth frequencies show up more frequently now? Altering the shape of the magnetic field. What the, what the hell, man? What are we doing here? All right. Invention and application of experimental methods to control the sawtooth instability in tokamak plasmas. The primary means of control involves the application of either ion cy cyclotron resonance heating or electron cyclotron heating with resonance very close to the plasma core. Uh, that's also why we see the extreme or the high frequency heating or the microwaves within the plasma. They're heating it up. They're heating it up. Um, many good articles on this. If Look, my interests have always been a, a bit different than most, but asymmetric surface barrier discharge plasma driven by pulsed radio frequency, 13.56 megahertz power in atmospheric pressure air, produced electric wind, we have to live the consequences of their friggin' experiments. All right, I will link below to everything if you have any interest in reading about it. Um, all right, but I'll end with this effect of a 20 kilohertz sawtooth magnetic field exposure on the estrus cycle in mice, well, our results suggest that exposure to these sawtooth electromagnetic frequencies, which we are now seeing more regularly, uh, may affect normal cycling of the estrus cycle by disrupting the female reproductive endocrine physiology. We should not disregard the possible adverse reproductive effect of the sawtooth electromagnetic frequency. Yeah, dangers abound. I'll link below to everything.